Hello, welcome, welcome to this channel. I'm bringing you uh, a new talk, and the title of this talk, "Darling, You Have Changed." The title for this uh, topic, for this topic today, is "Darling, You Have Changed." Well, a lot of people who are in a relationship sometimes they feel things are not the same as they used to be used to be so glad be so excited about your partner in many and various ways but you realize something is not right something is 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 is, is, is not is, is not moving the way you expected or you're used to and there's there are two reasons for why people change there are two reasons for why people change either you learn enough that you want to change or you have been hurt in pain enough that you have to change it's not a simple thing because you are in a relationship in a committed relationship and you expect this person to always be there for you to always care for you to always be sweet to you and he doesn't do that that kind of things to you you feel bad you know that you made the right choice but you f you're not feeling right. You know you made the right choice, you made the right person, but he doesn't make you feel right. Listen to this, written by one lady. It says, I miss the late night talks. You used to talk a lot, but it is gone now. The up to 3 a.m., you talk up to past midnight. I miss telling you I have to sleep and you doing the, everything you could to keep me up. Me laughing out in the middle of the night, then stopping because I'm scared my mom might hear you. They're making you laugh, then me laughing with you. I miss you telling me you love me and me not saying it back because I didn't yet miss you enough. I miss when I finally did tell you that I love you and then I couldn't stop telling you that I love you. I miss the old you that told me all the things I wanted to hear. I miss the you that supported my wild ideas. You have changed, baby. All the things I miss don't matter to you no more. I miss you, but I can tell that in your mind it's just a memory. Do I still love you? will always love you probably but i don't think i could ever be with you again you have changed and i don't like who you have become so you can you can hear this i mean it's it's, it's, it's a sorrow thing sorrowful thing this lady is going through you met some you met somebody who promised a lot but he's not keeping any of his promises you expected a lot but you're getting nothing. You gave your heart to this person and he doesn't care about your heart. It is painful. Now, what you need to, to, to know when someone starts changing, it's a very gradual process. It's like the shifting from daytime to night. You know, from, uh, from the daylight to darkness when it comes at, at night, you don't notice how it changes from uh, day tonight or from uh, night to day it's a very gradual process so you need to have a mechanism whereby you will be able to notice the slightest change in his tone in the way he talks in the way he moves in the way he makes love in the way he talks to you it's very important to, to be able to notice the slight changes your partner is having in his mind about you or, or about the whole relationship. Someone said this, listen, I'm tired of telling you I don't mind, but I do mind. I'm tired of telling you I'm okay because I am not, not, thank you. I'm tired of keeping my feelings from you. You hurt me deep down, even you know you did. I'm tired of wanting you to care. You just don't seem to care anymore. I miss who we used to be. 
I miss everything about us. I thought you'll figure all this out yourself, but you have changed. And everything about us changed too. You disappoint me. I'm sorry for us. Just so sorry. So you feel how, how painful this is when somebody you really cared for and he doesn't care about you anymore. It's time for you to wake up and remember that you are somebody of value. Somebody should be willing to change for you and you change for him. So there are many things which cause people to change, but remember, the only thing which you can do is to help your person, your, 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 your partner, see the need to be the person you want to be. This will involve a lot of quality time conversation between the two of you. It may reach a stage whereby you say, like this lady said here, it says, I notice everything. And by everything, I literally mean everything. I notice when someone stops hitting me up, like they used to do. I notice when they, the way someone talks to me start changing. I notice that little things that people do and the little thing that they used to do. I notice when things change and when it's no longer the same. I notice every single little detail. I just don't say anything. Please. When you start notice, noticing things that are going in a different direction, you want to go south, your boyfriend is going north, please, that's a time to confront the person and say, well, I think here we are going apart. We are move, moving away from each other. Let's talk. Don't be afraid because fear is not a component of love. The Bible says in the book of first letter, the first letter to uh, the first letter of John, chapter 4, verse 18, says, In love there's no fear, for fear has to do with punishment. So remember, if you are directed, motivated by fear, you are not in a loving relationship. Do not let fear be a deciding factor. If you're in love with your partner, let love be ruling every aspect of you. So your partner will try to understand you when you are questioning things. And you also try to understand him when he, he is questioning things about you. So for you to hide yourself and say nothing, thus is drinking poison and dying slowly. God bless you.